All right, so this is part two of your Microsoft Word uh, certification exam for 2019. And we're going into the file called Project 2. You're going to see uh, days of the week. Go ahead and open this up and download it, as always. Um, and you're going to notice we have a few tables, a couple things we got to do in here. We're going to do questions 11 through 20. 11 through 20 with this document. All right, so far a nice even 10 per document. So download a copy. Sure. And go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> and enable editing at the top if you do get that little pop-up, and you should. All right, and number 11 on our review sheet uh, says, apply a box border to the document with a width of three points and a color of blue accent five. All right, so under... Uh, the design tab. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Home tab. Yeah. No. Yeah. Apply a border to the document. Home tab. Borders icon. Uh, no, it's under the design tab, isn't it? Yeah. Over here. Page borders. There's a mistake on my sheet. My bad. Like, home tab, if you were going to do borders to a table, this is a document. Okay, yeah. This is a document. We do have borders over here. Right here. Um, but this one, we're going to go design tab and we're going to go to page borders. And the first thing you want to do is on the left hand side, I don't know why, but they have this setting here called none. All right. And if you don't change that, no matter what you choose over here, you're not going to get a box. You're not going to get a border. Uh, so here you need to say box border. All right. They want us to do, uh, to the whole document with a width of three points. So down here, we're going to say width, we're going to say three points and a color of blue accent five. So we're gonna go uh, blue accent one. So this must be blue accent five. And let me break down how the colors actually work for you guys. Down here, these are your standard colors. So like just red and yellow and green and whatever, and light blue and dark blue. And then up here are shades and tints of colors. So we have like green accent one, and then here we have green, or, sorry, green accent one. Uh, green accent six and then down here we have green accent six lighter 80 percent and then lighter 60 percent and it goes by 20s lighter 40 percent and then we've got darker uh 25 percent and then darker 50 percent all right so if it ever says like you know a red it's going to be a standard color down here if it says like um blue accent color but it doesn't have like a lighter or a darker then it's one of these up here so we're going to say blue accent color six to the whole document right here we could change that if we wanted to by going to options here and um, selecting uh, edge of text instead of edge of pane, but we don't want to do that. So make sure it just says whole document and just say OK. And boom. All right. <clears throat> Arrange the text beneath the moaning about Monday's heading so that it wraps to the left of the photo. All right. So moaning about Monday's heading right here. Moaning about Mondays. Here's the heading. And what it wants us to do is it wants us to click on the image. Boom. And when you click on the image, of course, you get Picture Tools contextual tabs. We don't need to use those for this particular question because it's all about wrapping text. It says arrange the text between moaning about, mudding, uh, moaning about Mondays heading so that the text wraps to the left of the photo. All right. So we're going to click on the image and we're going to go to... Um, the layout options tab here and we're going to click on square type or through because you'll notice all of them allow the text to go above my image so let's just say uh, through and then it says move the picture to the right so that all the text is on the left click off there so that all the text is on the left so like that let's see Arrange the text beneath moaning about Monday's heading so that it wraps to the left of the photo. There you go. Just like that. All right. Um, you know, the type of text wrapping that I chose does a particular thing. Um, all of these do something a little bit different. The square text wrapping would have done the same thing for me. And so would have the tight text wrapping. But the behind text and in, um, in front of text probably wouldn't have done the same thing for me. And neither would have the top of the bottom. Actually, top and the bottom might. No, it wouldn't have. 
Um, so there are differences between text wrapping, but in general with Microsoft Word, when you have a picture, you want to go ahead and um, slap on some text wrapping just in case you want to scoot that picture anywhere because sometimes Microsoft Word gives you a little bit of attitude about moving pictures in places. It's a document. It's not PowerPoint. Um, bookmark the heading, Moaning About Mondays. All right, right here, Moaning About Mondays, um, and name the bookmark Mondays. So it says highlight the heading. We're going to go ahead and select, oops, and we don't want to get the picture. So maybe I'll start over here, there, and make sure you don't get the picture, just the heading. Um, and name the bookmark Mondays. Bookmarks are under the Reference tab, and you're going to see under the Reference tab that we have, no, it's not, it's a link. No, this is a bookmark, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was thinking EndNote, Footnote. Um, under the Insert tab under Links, you're going to see Bookmarks, all right? And what you're doing when you insert a bookmark is you're just kind of creating a place that you can jump to real quick kind of it, it is kind of it is a hyperlink that's kind of what it is but it's a link inside the document it's not going to take you like to a web page or anything like that so we're going to say bookmark we're going to name it Mondays and we're going to say add with bookmarks um, no matter what it has to be one word if you try to do two words or hit the space bar um, I don't think you can actually yeah see It'll gray out. So Mondays, and then we're going to click Add. And we've what we've done is we've just kind of created a hyperlink. So let's just say um, I wanted to, you know, hi hyperlink this word Monday to the heading, you know, moaning about Mondays. What I've done now is I've just created a uh, place where I can link to. I can say Insert Link. And I can come over here and say place in this document and you're going to see down here bookmarks. All right. And now I have one called Mondays. All right. It is a hyperlink. That's what I did. All right. Okay. Where am I? I don't even know anymore. On the first page in the footer, hyperlink the web address uh, www.socialstudiesforkids.com. All right. So... It wants us to hyperlink it just to that address. So we're going to go to um, the footer right here. It says on the first page in the footer, hyperlink the web address, socialstudiesforkids.com. It looks like it already is hyperlinked. It already is here. So let me just go ahead and right click and say edit hyperlink. I'll go ahead and fix this document on your side so it's not already hyperlinked. What you want to do when you're inserting a hyperlink is go ahead and select the text and then go to the insert tab and you're going to see link and then you're going to go ahead and click it and it's going to say web page, place in this document like I just showed you for the bookmarks, create new document or email address. This one wants us to do a place in this document. It's already going to be down here. Um, socialstudiesforkids.com and it doesn't want us to display to change the display name. Nope. If it said like ch change the display name to like, you know, click here for kids or something like that, you would go ahead and change this. Uh, but it doesn't, so just say OK. All right. And you know it's a hyperlink because if you hold control on your keyboard and hover over it, the hyperlink itself will pop up. All right. And if you click on it, it'll go to it. I'm not sure that's a real website, though. So just FYI. Um, and I'm going to pause this and go ahead and fix that document. All right, so uh, it says to the right of the, uh, and this is number 15 we are on right now, to the right of the from the book facts about the days of the week heading, insert a copyright symbol, all right? Um, so from the book facts about days of the week heading. Here's facts about days of the week. Is there another one that says from the book facts about days of the week? No. Huh, I wonder if it says from the book, Facts and Dates of the Week. So Facts about Days of the Week heading right here. Um, insert a copyright symbol. All right, so we're going to go to the Insert tab, and you're going to see that um, under the Insert tab, we have a whole group uh, for just symbols, all right? Um, so over here, you're going to see Symbols, and we're looking for a symbol called Copyright. You've seen it on everything that you purchase, all right? or a trademark symbol or a registered symbol. It basically means that, you know, somebody owns that. You can't reproduce it without their knowledge, all right? 
remove the formatting from the heading facts about Saturday and Sunday. Um, so right here, facts about Saturday and Sunday, see how it has this blue heading? This is called a um, font style called heading two. And they basically just want us to remove that font style. Um, you can just say normal or you can come over here and you can remove all formatting, which I think is what they want you to do. Clear all formatting. OK, uh, number three, display the integral header on all pages of the document except page one. All right. So under the insert tab, you're going to say um, header. You're going to find a specific type of header called integral. So scroll down. They're in alphabetical order. Integral. Oh, it's super ugly. Um, on all pages of the document except page one. All right. So up here under header footer tools. All right. Um, I'm going to say different first page. And basically that's going to keep it from being applied to page one. See how it just disappeared disappeared off of page one. All right. Display the info on all pages except um, of the document except page one. OK, so that's it. Um, it's automatically going to go to every other page. All you have to do is say close header footer now. And let's go ahead and scroll down and just look at page two. And you can see our header right there. All right. I wish it matched our document. That really bothers me. And headers are really easy. Um, you know, you can type into a header. If you double click at the top of your page, you'll go back into your header. And you can type in here if they want you to. There's all kinds of things that you can do with a header as far as like putting dates and times and things like that. Um, into your header all right it's grayed out right here but page numbers are a usual thing and if you ever want to get out of your header and you don't want to hit close header just double click anywhere in your document to get out of there in the table this is number 18 in the table under the original name column so where's our table right here under the original name column right here place the thermometer symbol to the right of sun's day Use the webbing font and character code 225. Oh, my goodness. All right. So um, click beside Sun's Day, which is right here. All right. Under the Insert tab, you're going to go back to Symbols, and you're going to say More Symbols. This is a, a very specific symbol. It's um, the thermometer symbol, and they want us to use a specific font called Webbings. So they kind of tell us, if you haven't done this before, you'll notice that there's so many weird fonts that you can use in here. And most of them I haven't really used, but um, I bet your students have webdings here, webdings. And you'll find a thermometer symbol in here somewhere. Um, insert thermometer. Yeah, you just kind of have to look through it. And this is another thing on a time test. This will make you a little crazy. I try to find thermometer. All right, and it's right here. I found it finally. See it right there? And I'm going to say insert just once, and then I'm going to hit close. All right, and you're going to notice that now I have a little <clears throat> thermometer symbol there. All right, number 19. Save a copy of the document as a Word 2019 template named Notes that is compatible with the latest Word features and does not support macros. Save the template file in the default location. So when it says save the template, plate file in the default location it's just means like wherever it pops up just save it there all right so file tab and we're going to say save as all right uh, we're going to go ahead and say change doc name to notes so right here is our document name and we're going to go ahead and change that to notes is it capital nope just lowercase all right change the document type to template and you're going to see two different types of templates one that says uh, uh, macro enabled and then one that says just word template all right this one says that does not support macros so this one would just be word template all right and that's it right that makes sure there's no other templates yeah that's it so just word template and if you don't know what macros are, macros are shortcuts that you can set. <clears throat> You're going to get 
a little pop-up window here, and then we're just going to close it out. Oh, never mind. Couldn't open the document. All right, that's fine. All right, so, oh, it's probably because of where I was trying to save it, probably. Either way, um, change the list level of Saturday and Sunday to level three under the which days of the week section. All right, okay, so let's see, which days of the week section. So which days of the week right here change the list level of Saturday and Sunday <clears throat> to a level three. So you're going to see Saturday and Sunday right here. And it says change the list level to a level three. So we've talked about this before. All right. Under the home tab, uh, you're going to see something in Microsoft Word that we did not have. I don't think we had in PowerPoint. I can't really remember, but you're going to see change list level and you're going to see what does it want us to do? To a level three bullet, which is right here for just these two, for just Saturday, Sunday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, under which days of the week section. All right. <clears throat> all right. And that is through number 20. That's question number 20. All right. So again, save this document or I'm sorry, don't save this document and go ahead and close it out. Oh my God, I still have a lot to do and I'm already losing it. All right. And I'll see you in part three.